dastardly deeds done by a doo-doo head. What are you doing? It's already dusty. So is your mom. <laughs>
Is it Desi Boys? Is it? I think it is Desi Boys. Well, it could be a different one because we reacted to two that were pretty similar at the same time, and we yeah. get those confused. Yeah. Uh, one was Desi Boys. I think one was like starts with a D, I think, or something like that. Anyway, uh, the, the main thing for me about this one is this felt purely like just studio schlock. Just let's throw something out there that's going to attract college students and it's going to give them what they expect. It's going to have a musical number. We'll do something during Holy, and it'll be about guys wanting to be with a girl. Uh, and the girl, I don't think yeah, the girl, I, I think have the girl's zero interest. Yeah, the girl wants to get married. Yeah, I, nothing in that was anything that in, intrigued me. The only Except thing, the, actually yeah, the, the songs. Yeah, the songs, the songs were great, actually pretty good. Which <laughs> makes I bet they'll have sense, great music videos. Which makes sense. Yeah, but as um, far as, um, I mean, if the trailer was showing us the best of what they've got in the thing, it just, it, it, everything about that felt like, just another thing, studios, and not just, I'm not just talking about studios in India, but like the movie industry here does it as well. Let's just put something together that we know will make some money and just fart it out, so. Yeah, uh, I felt very similar as yep. well. It came out in 2018. Titu is going to marry a perfect woman named Sweetie. Titu's best friend, Sonu, doubts Sweetie's character and tries to break the marriage while Sweetie tries to do opposite and which leads to war between bromance and romance. That's not something you pitch in a studio and people go, hmm, that's going to make it to award season. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think it's trying to make it to award but season. But even, even if it's not, it's still not even, it doesn't even look like it's an attempt to be a good popcorn, silly film. It just looks like, I just don't know why. So the main guy... No offense to anybody in it who was doing it with great intent, particularly the artists involved in everything, the, the, the actors and the screenwriter... Uh, that's that's one of the shames about the studio systems is that you can get this could have been somebody's freaking passion project as a screenplay yeah. and then a studio sees it and goes oh yeah cool let's chop this up and turn this into a money maker on Valentine's Day that's yeah. awesome it can be a star vehicle for some of our new talent we want to uh, feature and then the screenwriter is sitting at home crying because their passion project was turned into something that wouldn't even I don't know that this is the case granted it could be a very very good film and the trailer was just suck it kind of just exactly didn't sh I mean it, the trailer didn't suck no it, no it no it just wasn't like it's not a film that would draw us in normally at all and so maybe we're not the demographic for it maybe maybe um, so and again we've always said this we won't judge a film by its trailer so if, if stupid family says no really this movie's actually quite good and has a great message in the trailer you hated the queen trailer this. it's true you hated the queen trailer yeah. yeah and then you end up really liking loving that, that movie, movie. yeah yep. That uh, the, the, the trailers don't obviously always mean... No, sometimes they match. Yes. Sometimes they match, and you're like, yeah, the, that's, it set me up beautifully. You know what's one of my favorite trailers of all time? The very first trailer for The Revenant, which was nothing but Leo riding on his horse being chased by the Native Americans, and he flies off the cliff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. But <laughs> a great you, you knew that one was going to... It had Leo, and then it looked beautiful. And yeah. So, you don't, sometimes for films like that, you don't need, like, to <laughs> tell them anything. It, you know, you just, who's directing it, who's starring, and you're, yeah, you're in. But, you're, yeah, this was, this just... Yeah, it was kind of, not it kind of fell flat. Uh, outside of the music, the music was like, oh, yeah, the music was really good. Really good. Really good. Um, and so those look like enjoyable songs. Um, I'm hoping T-Series isn't just going to copyright this. Because of all the songs, which is <laughs> possible, probably will. <laughs> but I guess those are the names of each of them. I guess so. Yeah, Sono Key, Titu Key, Key, and Sweetie. Sweetie. Yeah, Sweetie. Sono and Titu and Sweetie. Or versus? Or, <laughs> what is Key? In? Yeah, it's a good question. Key. Sono Key, Titu Key. I, I think, think it's K and Key. Correct us if we're wrong. Those, but are those part of their names? Or no, they... Sonu, Key, Titu. Key Sweetie. Why, is, I, I why is that key and that key spelled differently? That's what I don't know. Okay. I don't know if it, I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that Sweetie's feminine, so you change the E to an I before the feminine name. I don't think they do that. I don't think they do either. I don't think. And they it do that may either. be something That's versus a, something with some. Uh, I don't know. You can tell us. Maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let us know that, and then also let us know if this film is worth a watch. Is it just a trailer that was just kind of like, or does it suck like we think it does? <laughs> <laughs>